Houdini's secrets were as brilliant as the challenges that were put before him. Houdini in the early 1900s even wrote a book called Handcuff Secrets. Now why would Houdini actually reveal some of his most cherished secrets? That's because he wanted to debunk and stop the competitors from copying him. So you want to learn one secret? What Houdini would do is he would strap this metal plate underneath his pants leg. And there are certain British handcuffs that if you had them on and if you were to smack it on that plate, they would pop open. Well, Scotland Yard read the book and they said, Houdini, is there any way you could just take that chapter out of the book? Houdini didn't. And the book was very interesting in his success because a lot of criminals were buying the book to figure out how to get out of certain cuffs. Another secret of Houdini is a piece of clay. No, not Play-Doh, but a hard clay. What Houdini would do is when someone was to challenge him, he would say, let me see the handcuffs. Houdini wanted to make sure the handcuffs and lock actually open up because a lot of times the people that were challenging them rigged the handcuff and the lock in such the way that no one would be able to open it. Once Houdini got that key in his hand, he had the clay palmed inside his hand. He would make an impression of the key, go backstage and find which key would open up that lock.